Working for you. CBS 6 This Morning starts with a breaking news alert. We have an update on that breaking news from I-95 South in Caroline County. I'm Rob Cardwell. And I'm Reba Hollingsworth. A truck overturned near Mile Marker 103 north of Kings Dominion overnight. And we've just learned what caused that crash. CBS 6's Jake Burns is live at the scene with the very latest from state police. Jake. Yeah, Reba, earlier we mentioned the forensics unit had just pulled up on scene. We now know why that's the case. We just learned that the driver of this truck was shot prior to this accident. That's why the scene has looked basically like this for the past two hours, two and a half hours or so. That is the forensics unit just back behind the vehicle. As Jason zooms in on it, you'll be able to see them back there. We are told the driver of this vehicle was shot prior to this accident here on 95 southbound, was transported to VC medical center and where that person tragically passed away now we were wondering exactly why this happened still a lot of unanswered questions when it comes to that but we do know that state police tell us this is completely under investigation all of this is still under investigation very active one as you can see out here on scene Caroline County Sheriff's deputies state troopers out here as well 95 southbound is a slow go right now around this as they continue to investigate if Jason can pan over here to our left we'll show you exactly what they're doing they're they're closing down the right lane right now so they can really get in and get all their investigative tools in here to figure out exactly what happened here on the side of the road. Uh, again, the driver of this vehicle did pass away at VCU Medical Center, state police say, and we're told that person had a gunshot wound prior to this wreck. Rob Preba. I'm assuming during the investigation, did he get shot like while driving or before he got into the car? So that's some of the questions that have to yeah, be answered. Yeah, that, that's exactly what this. That's exactly what the state police said they're going to look into right now. They're trying to figure that out, but no word yet on what the, when that happened. Yeah, because if this is random, that puts a whole new spin mm -hmm. on this. All right, Jake Burns reporting live for us. Well, Kristen continues our complete coverage this morning. She has more on how that crash could affect your commute. Kristen. All good information there from Jake. I just want to map it and show you exactly where everything is taking place. All that activity you're going to see on the roadway. Now, state police, they tell me that right lane and shoulder will remain closed. But here's what's going on. This is in Caroline County, 95 South, just south of the Carmel Church exit. That's going to be Route 207. Look at this. Travel lanes are open. So it's showing green clear conditions. But again, right lane, right shoulder closed. Heavy volume starting to pick up. So you can expect some brake lights. And of course, you want to move over it is the law so making sure that you're taking your time and trying to merge early that's really going to help with everyone that's out there anyone trying to make it from the Caroline County area down into Hanover now it would be a good area to avoid however you could also use route one as an alternate another problem on the roadways real quick to get to interstate 64 east at Laburnum Avenue heads up for an accident there if you're working out towards airport drive that could impact your commute this morning back to you Robin Reba all right, thanks. Let's turn to your weather. Man, we had a beautiful Thursday. Yeah, we did. Let's get a look at the weather you're waking up to right now. Hey guys, good morning. Yesterday was phenomenal. Felt a lot like summer temperatures topping out at 75, but a cold front pushed through. So today we're starting out a little chilly, 53 degrees right now. And we're going back and forth, feeling between 49 to even 53 across central Virginia. So a little chilly out there. Current temperatures right now in Ashland, 52, 46 in Innsbruck. You head into Chesterfield at 45 this morning. Highland Springs at 48. The warmer locations right now over into Williamsburg, sitting at 54. And you head into Fredericksburg, quite a bit cooler, 45, Louisa, 41, Farmville coming in at 49 degrees. Now, clear skies will continue throughout the entire day, warming temperatures around 63. Overnight, we're going to be clear and cool. Temperatures will be in the 30s and 40s, could be dealing with a frost. And by tomorrow afternoon, temperatures heading back around 62. But rain chances are on the increase for Sunday and Monday. Those details coming up. All right, thanks to Kadi. Breaking news out of Henrico. Power has been restored to customers in the Tuckahoe area after an overnight outage. A transformer exploded near Patterson and Dinwiddie Avenues around 3 o'clock this morning, leaving about 3,000 customers in the dark. Crews were able to fix the problem within an hour. The lanes of Patterson Avenue between Forest Avenue and Parham Road remain closed this morning while they clean it up. This morning, Chesterfield police are increasing patrols in the Brander Mill area after two women reported seeing suspicious men on walking trails. One woman tells police she was on a walk earlier this month when another person stepped out of the woods and onto the path. She took off running as fast as she could. But then last weekend, a second woman was walking down one of the trails at Sunday Park when she turned around and saw a man in the woods too. She took off running and heard the man running behind her. She wants to remain anonymous for her safety.
I don't I don't see why somebody would hide behind trees and follow you on a trail if they wanted to do something nice. Well, the good news is that nobody was hurt in either case. The Brander Mill Community Association has off-duty police officers patrolling the area, but they want women to know especially that they need to be aware of their surroundings and call 911 if they see anything suspicious. A crime alert out of Chesterfield that's a little hard to see, folks. A family is looking for a person who shot their cat with a pellet gun at point-blank range. Tyrion, who you see here, is facing a long road to recovery. That's his owner, Michelle Langford. She says on Sunday evening, she found Tyrion wounded outside of her home in the Meadowbrook Estates area. An x-ray revealed that Tyrion had been shot with that pellet gun three times, twice in the head and once in the leg. The veterinarian said that with the angle that the pellets went in, um, and how deep they're in there. It was at close range, and probably the cat was looking up at them when they shot him. Well, as you can see, Tyrion needed surgery and had his eye removed. If you know anything that can help investigators find who shot him, call police. It is a story that rocked Virginia. UVA student convicted of beating and killing his ex-girlfriend inside her apartment just off campus. Now, for the first time ever, we are hearing from George Hughley. Much of the case against Hughley relied on this 63-minute police interrogation tape. Charlottesville police detective Lisa Best sat face-to-face -face with Hughley hours after he broke into Yardley Love's apartment, repeatedly shook her head against a wall, and left her to die. What happened next? <laughs> When I had a nags and she was kept hitting her head against the against the wall when she was sitting on the bed and I was like I grabbed her and I like shook her. I was like, stop, like we need to like and looked at her. I was like, we need to like talk about this. And like, I mean I was on holding her arm and stuff. Choke her at one point. Um, I may have grabbed her a little bit by the neck mm -hmm. when we were like, but I never like strangled her. Hughley's final appeal was denied by the U.S. Supreme Court last month. Right now, he is serving a 23-year prison sentence. Also in Stafford, a local high school is responding to complaints about T-shirts that some students were wearing to school last week. I want to show you this photo here. It was posted on Instagram Tuesday. It shows these two Mountain View High School students wearing a shirt with writing on the back. And the message was actually a lyric from a rap song that contained a racial slur. According to the Freelance Star, Stafford school leaders were made aware of the post this week and that appropriate action has been taken. Halloween is Saturday, and if you plan to dress up, pick your costume carefully. Area Halloween shops want you to come out, but they suggest that you don't wear a costume that your boss won't approve of. You know you're going to put that on Facebook. People are going to share it. That picture is going to get around. That includes, of course, putting on blackface. That's a no-no. That's when you put on dark makeup to be another race or dressing as a known terrorist or murderer. We caught up with a shopper who says she isn't wearing a Pocahontas outfit this year because she's afraid it'll be insensitive. Don't dress up like a Nazi. Just don't do that. You're going to have a crappy time if you lose your job over pulling a joke. The store Spirit Halloween in Henrico is defending its decision to carry this, the Caitlyn Jenner outfit this year. Some groups call it offensive, but the managers there say it honors a new American icon. Go to my CBS 6 Facebook page. I'm asking a question about Halloween costumes okay. right now. Uh, new this morning, students at Alberta Smith Elementary in Chesterfield are having a special assembly today. And this mm -hmm. is cool. They're learning about something that Miss Aretha spells, uh -huh. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Yeah, they have a fun day ahead of them with skit songs and videos, all to teach them about respect. And the leaders of it all will be their peers. Third graders are actually presenting. They're doing a program called Promote Respect. And they're going to be putting on skits. They've worked on videos. And they've been working on music since September to get ready for this program. There will be two assemblies, one in the morning and one in the afternoon, so everyone can participate. And speaking of schools, Kristen and Nikki D made a stop by Glen Allen Elementary School in Henrico on Thursday. They spoke with second graders about the weather and traffic and some of the most popular questions they got, how do tornadoes form? And when is there the most traffic? Some great questions. Wonderful mm -hmm. questions. They all came prepared. They all had their notes. They were just a very good class. They really were. And there were so many of them, and they were so well behaved. So hello to everyone at home. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Well, a scary situation caught on camera on a school bus. Oh, my God. Hey. 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 What they saw moments before that started a fight between the bus driver and a student. And candy capers. We're going to show you the two people who were stealing sweets under the cover of darkness and three specific treats they chose to leave behind. And don't forget, we're just a couple of minutes away from announcing our Walmart Ooh. gift card winner. Yeah. 600 bucks is going to go to somebody. It could be you. Stick around. We'll announce that name in just a few minutes here on CBS 6 This Morning.
CBS 6 Sky Tracker, sponsored by Baugh Auto Body. All right, are you in a hurry this morning? Well, here's your grab and go. Here's what you can expect. Overnight, a cold front pushed through central Virginia. That's going to help lower temperatures into highs in the 60s today as well as into tomorrow. But clouds will begin to increase tomorrow afternoon because our next system will begin to approach Sunday and Monday. And that's when we are looking to see our next chance of rain and get this next week. Temperatures will have highs in the 70s. So soak up the fall like weather right now. Currently coming in 53 degrees, feeling as if we are at 50 one clear skies allowing temperatures to be around 10 to even 22 degrees cooler than what we were this time yesterday right now in Louisa 39 49 in West Point this afternoon we'll see tons of sunshine temperatures rebound around 63 degrees but how much rain is anticipated and what can you expect for next week's heat those details coming up all right, thanks, Nikki This morning, an Iowa school bus driver is facing assault charges. He's accused of attacking a special needs student on a bus in front of other children. Take a look. Oh my God. Hey. Hey. Yeah, that was reported by another child on the bus. It appears to show 61 year old Robert Scarborough in a fight with a 15 year old student that all began after the teen threw something at Scarborough. Police say the driver then walked to the back of the bus and after the student said something to him, the driver grabbed the student by his coat and hit him in the face. He's in jail on $2,000 bond. New this morning, have you ever been to the uh, scenic Back Bay Wildlife Refuge in Virginia Beach? It's beautiful, great place to relax, but it can be hard to get to. Thanks to a federal grant, you may be able to see it thanks to what they're calling the Uber of the waterways. The wildlife refuge is tucked away at the southern end of Sandbridge. Draws thousands of tourists every year, but getting to some remote parts in a car can be difficult. A $449,000 federal grant given to Virginia Beach will make transportation alternatives around the park. One of them would involve a water taxi service, the Uber of the waterways. Other options include improving the existing bike and walking trails and a shuttle service. New this morning, it's no surprise kids get a lot of candy on Halloween. Mm -hmm. But what is a surprise? They're not the only ones eating all of it. A new Yahoo survey finds 68% of you parents eat your kids' Halloween candy and snacks after your little trick-or-treaters go to sleep. You know who you are. Among your favorites, the peanut butter cups and the Snickers. The kids wake up the next day and they go, hey, what happened to all this stuff? <laughs> Things that the parents don't eat, licorice, candy corn, and raisins, Kristen. But you and know, you I don't even said... wait for her to go to sleep. I eat her in her front <laughs> of her face. <laughs> That's sneaky. And then when you bring it in, we all stop by your desk. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Do. Okay, Robin Reba, the big story of the morning. Jake has been here in Caroline County for a majority of the morning, early morning. Interstate 95 South, just south of the Carmel Church exit, which is milepost 104. This section of the highway, milepost 103 to milepost 102. Very active scene, right lane, right shoulder are gonna be closed. See that overturned pickup truck, all four wheels pointing towards the sky. We have an investigative team on scene. Crews are there, emergency crews, as well as a safety truck pushing all the traffic to those far left two lanes. Follow me now on the map. This is where everything's taking place and causing a little bit of a brake check there. Now, uh, green has changed over to yellow south of Route 207, again, the Carmel Church exit, and that's indicating a few brake lights in the area. That's really the, indic the first indication that we've seen of any brake lights. Just starting to pick up volume, of course, as the morning continues. If you'd like to avoid this area, you can use Route 1. And again, right lane and shoulder are going to be blocked here. Let's move on. We are starting to heat up on the roadways. Another problem spot, 64 East at Laburnum Avenue, headed out towards the east end. And this problem, Pocahontas Parkway East found at Laburnum Avenue, anyone heading out towards New Market Road, that could affect your drive as well. Rob, Reba. All right, All right thanks. thanks. Well, you talk about a great way to start the weekend. Yeah, it is time to announce today's winner of a $600 Walmart gift card. Congratulations to Amy Anderson of Richmond. Amy, you have 30 minutes to call this number, 342-3413, and claim your prize. And if you're not Amy, don't call. Please remember... Amy has to call in and claim her gift card, but if she doesn't, it's going to roll over. Tomorrow's gift card will be, or Monday's, will be worth $1,200. All right, in our last half hour, Nikki D was learning some of the basics of equestrian vaulting. Now let's see what happens once the horse gets on the move. <laughs> Ready? Uh, oh, shoot. Very good. Oh, hey. So lengthen those legs just a little bit. Hello. No. Very good. Hey, Beth. Take a deep breath and exhale, okay? And just let your body sit on top of that horse and let your legs drape around that horse. Do I look slouchy? 
No, you're good. Okay. Go mm -hmm. ahead and put your feet on her rump. Like, like this? That. Okay. And then go ahead and press up. And Whoop. when you're ready, bring that one leg up. Very good. I hope you got a good angle. So now we're going to mill back around. To this so direction. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then. And while you're right there, go ahead and just hook that knee over. Oh, yes. Wrist, and we'll go into that side saddle. When you're ready, take Because I'm going to slide down. And just slide down. And bend those knees. Good oh. job. Okay, if you have a job you'd like me to try, all you have to do is go to WTVR.com, click on the community tab, and check out Nikki D. Can you be me? Okay, I want to go on the record. <laughs> I did not see the editing of this. I did stand up on that horse. You did? Oh. I stood up on the horse. It wasn't moving. But I did stand <laughs> up on the horse, just on the record. I will make sure we find footage of that. Okay. Oh, good balance. Okay. Mm -hmm. That was good. I was probably, I was a split second. That's probably why I didn't get hey, footage Next, of it. the Olympics. I'm <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I got the bow down. Mm, you like know what? It. I'm going to bow to today's forecast because right. it is oh, so it. nice out there. Take a look what's happening right now. You can see that we're beginning to see that clearing taking place all across central Virginia. This is live outside the studio, currently sitting at 48 degrees. Winds are out of the north at seven miles per hour. It does feel as if we are are coming in at 44 degrees this morning. But look at these temperatures. 39 in Louisa, 46 in Tappahannock, Kilmarnock at 52. You head into West Point, 49 going into Petersburg, 44. It's quite the chill, especially when you remember what it felt like yesterday. Yesterday morning, temperatures were quite a bit warmer. I mean, we've seen a significant drop. We're 23 degrees cooler in Louisa, 16 degrees cooler in Richmond, 19 degrees cooler over towards West Point. So we are definitely beginning to fall into winter. And you know what? The leaves are falling, and they look beautiful. Head out there and take a look. And if you do, send us your photos. We definitely want to see them. We are at peak just to the western locations, including Charlottesville, Lynch, Roanoke, and we are seeing a high foliage level right now up and along I-95 and still seeing a little bit of a moderate when it comes to those colors changing towards the coast. But all in all, just gorgeous out there. And if you are headed to take photos of the leaves, you don't have to worry too much about allergies unless you're allergic to mold. Mold continues to stay at a low level. So here's the game plan for today. It's going to be a great day to get out there and take some photos because high pressure is going to begin to sit in. We're going to see tons of sunshine throughout the entire day today. It's going to be clear all day and all evening. So temperatures right at sunset, which is 714, will be in the plummet. So we'll be in those 50s rather quickly. And by tomorrow morning, We'll have the 30s and 40s. Could even be dealing with a little frost in some locations. As we go into our Saturday, you will see an increase in the way of cloud cover, but still clear when it comes to any amount of rainfall. Our next system will impact Central Virginia Sunday as well as Monday. That's when we are looking to see a few isolated showers late Sunday and early into Monday morning. Temperatures for today, quite a bit different than yesterday. We're talking about the low 60s all across the Commonwealth. 61 looking to be in Fredericksburg, 62 in Louisa, 66 in South Hill. Emporia looking to top out at 64. And if you are headed out on the town, you want to make sure and grab a wrap or a little jacket because the moment that sun sets, temperatures will plummet into the 50s. Tomorrow we'll stay in the 60s at 62. Don't forget you get to fall back on Sunday. 68 degrees for your high in the 70s will return going into next week. Rob, Reba. All right, thanks. Tonight on CBS 6 Primetime. At 8, it's The Amazing Race, followed by Hawaii 5 0 and Blue Blood at 10. Then stay tuned for CBS 6 News at 11. And we continue to follow this breaking news from I 95. Our Jake Burns will tell you what happened early this morning here just north of Kings Dominion. Working for you, this is a CBS 6 Breaking News Alert. And it's breaking news. We've been falling for you all morning. An overturned truck causing delays for drivers who travel along I-95 North. It's all going on in Caroline County, just north of Kings Dominion. CBS 6's Jake Burns is live on the side of the Interstate 95 with the latest from state police. Jake. Yeah, Reba, an odd set of circumstances this morning. We know from state police that the driver of that truck that's flipped over back behind me was shot prior to this accident. We also know that driver was transported to VCU Medical Center not uh, where that person unfortunately died of their injuries. State police, Caroline County deputies are all out here on scene right now. They're trying to piece together exactly what happened prior to this truck 
flipping over on the side of the road. Again, they say that this person was shot before that accident happened. We know they went about 80 yards on the side of the road before flipping over. Now, one important note right now, if you're heading uh, 95 southbound, the right lane is shut down right now while they continue their investigation, Robin Reba. All right, of course, something we'll be following and stay on top of that story. Jake Burns reporting live in Caroline. Up next, it's a milestone for CBS this morning. Be sure to stay tuned for their 1,000th show. Yeah. And Amy Anderson of Richmond will be celebrating if she sees her name and calls in to claim her $600 Walmart gift card. Again, Amy Anderson, you have about 10 minutes left to call this number 342-3413 and claim your prize. If Amy doesn't call, Monday's card will be worth $1,200. In case you are just joining us, we've learned recently the driver who crashed this truck on I-95 South Friday morning had been shot. According to Virginia State Police, the truck crashed and overturned at the 102 mile marker in Caroline County about 2.40. The driver was transported to VCU Medical Center via med flight where they died. We'll update this story, of course, online and on air here at CBS 6. And we're back in 25 minutes. We'll see you then. Have a great morning.